Leo, welcome. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. Um, if you are new, please hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. I really, really appreciate you, and I'm really glad you're here. This is going to be a Mercury in retrograde reading, predictions and guidance to get through this often kind of trying time, but also can be kind of exciting. You never know what's going to happen during Mercury in retrograde, and so I hope to give you uh, a little bit of guidance going into it. And you guys voted on this. And my game retrograde uh, messages one. So I'm excited. Um, I'm not going to do extended for this. And um, so let's just get into it. If you want a personal reading with me, please hit the description box below for how to hook up with me through everybody in my wellness center or on Wissio or on the socials. Check me out on Instagram and all the other things. Um, I like Instagram. I think that one's my favorite. All right, guys. So let's do this. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Please like if you like this video. It really helps the video circulate. All right, my beautiful Leos, what's coming in for you during this Mercury and retrograde during February 2021? Ooh, High Priestess and Dream and Journey came through. That came through for Aries, so you may have some Aries placements, but I didn't get to pray yet. So, Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels and Ancestors, Please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space. So mo it be. Wow, the cards really want to talk to you, Leo. Summer. So if you're a Leo sun, this is definitely for you. Um, but could be for any Leo placement. Bask in joy and light. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, it does look like, you know, it's important that you... Focus on all the good that's happening. It does look like you have a lot of joy in your life right now. Trust and thrive. So you got it going on. Leo. You got it going on, baby. With this trust and thrive. What is happening? The fire guardian was really trying to come out. Um, trust and thrive that you're doing the right thing. Yeah, and here he is. He wanted out of there. So you're feeling your fire. Um, watch your temper at this time. Because there may be something that's agitating you a little. And with the fire guardian here, it's important that you write it out, transmute it. Don't, don't internalize it too much. Don't let the fire take over. Because there's something that Leo needs to shift their perception about. And I think it may even be like fear of Mercury and retrograde time. I was saying in the Aries reading that like, you know, I had a beautiful baby during the Mercury and retrograde. I... Um, you know, believe I started and published my book during the Mercury retrograde, started my tarot career. And like, you never know, like, there's so many different things. You got to shift your perception about what this means. Yes, back up your electronics. Yes, do the extra precautions. Make sure you have everything you need, et cetera, et cetera. Go a little slower at this time. But don't fear Mercury and retrograde. I think that that's the thing that, you know, we got to get over is the negative connotations. Whoa. Four of Pentacles, Temperance, and Two of Pentacles. Um, my Leos may be having a really hard time communicating their needs right now. So that's why it's important to go slowly. Be patient. Take your time. Um, again, that's very, very clear message here. You may want to save some money right now, but it's almost like Leo is really going within until you figure out what it is you truly want. And it, it's very important that you tap into your spiritual guidance system, whether they be your guides, your actual spiritual guides, um, or God, or whatever it is, the, the tools in your spiritual tool belt are what's going to help you move past this confusion. Um, but there truly is a need to go within right now for you. Six of Cups and Five of Swords, Ike. Um, you may have been betrayed by some friends. Or family or something I am getting that really strongly and I'm so sorry um, some secrets may come out and you may have a hard time talking about how it makes you feel um, it definitely could be friends or family members um, oh this came up for Aries too very much trapped in your head you don't know what to say and it's almost like, or this could be someone that you have a strong past life connection with or someone you have children with. Um, and there is this start over energy. Like, 
Uh, Leo is having a really hard time figuring this out. Some Leos may be struggling with the decision to have children. Some of you may feel like you're having a hard time um, making that choice. And, you know, I will tell you, there's never the perfect time for something that big. And, and you know, if it just happens, it happens. But if it's, if it's something that, you know, and it never just happens, right? Like, we have ways of preventing it. But it's definitely... Some of you, some of you may be struggling with the decision to have children or struggling with your children, uh, struggling with the decision about your children. It could be any one of those things. And I'd be happy to help you with this, Leo. Um, but again, relying on your guides to help you because always remember your guides can't help you unless you ask for help. Ace of Cups, yum, yum. Up the self-love. That's what I'm getting with that right now. And it was very similar message to um, Aries as well. Like, it's like, you know, you, if you're spreading yourself too thin, even if it's your own children, um, you're no good to nobody, you know? So filling your cup. Um, and that's going to be the theme of the convene. And I'll put the, the link in the description box. Um, the next round of readings or soon, actually. I might even just post right about that. Ooh, karma. Ooh. Okay, so if you don't have kids or you're not having any issues with your kids or anything like that, Leo, you definitely could be feeling really bound to someone, but the fact is, karma's bringing in new love, and you're going to want to take it very, very slowly, very, very slowly, and... Um, You, or there could be a pregnancy if you are in an established relationship. You may get pregnant before you even get to... So the decision may be made for you. <laughs> if you're struggling to have children, the decision will probably be made for you and you may get pregnant. You're like, all right, well, here we are. Nine of Cups is what you really want. If that's not it, if this has nothing to do with children or new babies or anything like that, um, this definitely has to do with you manifesting new love. And it's all about how you see yourself and all about, excuse me, all about how you're talking to yourself. Uh, Leo, you got to remember that thoughts are just stories, you know, and it's our intuition that tells us the truth, not our thoughts. Okay. Thoughts are storytellers. And I feel like, for you, you are heading towards wish fulfillment and whatever that means for you. The wheel is here. Uh, the wheel of fortune is here. Don't fret, my pet. Please, your good luck is here. It's, it's very important that you not stay up all night worrying about what can go wrong. Because it's we have no control. You know, and what, what we do have control over is our own karma. And if you don't do anything to hurt anybody else, I'm a firm believer that you, you know, do get that paid back. Even when bad things happen to you, that is a lesson. And you take that and good things will be rewarded then too. Like, it's like, you know, there's always, there's always going to be something that could happen. There's always going to be something that can go wrong. And especially if you're creative and most fire signs are creative by nature, you know, Oh, be more gentle to yourself. Be very, very kind to yourself. Make yourself a cup of tea. <laughs> um, and, and, and write down how you're feeling. Um, Leo may feel like someone owes them an apology or something. And I would stop. I would let that go. Let go of, like, any past person. Because that's just what's causing some burdens. Um... King of Pentacles could be an earth sign that's bugging you, Leo. Chariot. Wow. Hangman. All right, baby. This is big stuff with the chariot and the hangman. Um, some of my Leos are going to meet their significant other, their future spouse during Pisces season. And... It's very important over the next few weeks that you just keep moving forward. I believe Mercury goes direct right at the 
change of the signs. So that's really interesting. I do think this is a timeline type thing. Um, and it looks like, I mean, you or some of my Leos may get married. Um, or if, if, I mean, don't worry about money either. Yeah, I was just going to say prosperity. <laughs> I love when that happens. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to get that commitment um, that you're looking for, bringing this to the next level. So whatever it is that Leo wants, you can get. Wow, competition. And even despite, you're going to prosper over the competition. And you're going to prosper over any kind of conflict or fighting. Wow, the lovers. Um, you may have some bait. You are going to be fighting them off with the stick. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. You're going to be fighting them off with the stick. All the lovers. This is a test of your faith. I'm getting, it's raining then. Hallelujah. And you're like, oh my God. Oh my God, where were they all last week when I was bored? <laughs> Why do they all come at once? Why? Um, oh, Leo, I don't know, baby. Yep, and it's in February. Get ready. Because uh, Leo got love. Love is coming in for Leo. Whoa, homecoming. Could be twin flamesy love. Forget about the competition. Forget you are beating them off with a stick. <laughs> and some of the Leo men are beating them off with their stick. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Leo men, you're getting it too. I mean, it's it doesn't even really matter what you want. And you're getting it. And I love it. Uh, you're getting what you wanted, Leo. This is beautiful. It's really cool reading the last two readings. It's making me feel really good. Oh, there you are. But there's something about you, like you're you're mad grumpy right now. Like right now, my Leos are just so grumpalicious. What is going on, grumpy, grumpy pants? Um, I do think you're a little bored. And then all of a sudden, the humans are going to be raining on you and you're going to be like, oh my God, why do all these people want me at the same time? King of Wands. And it's because you've got BDE, baby. So you are, you. that's Leo Leo energy right there. This is your reading. Stay in your energy, baby, because that's what's bringing them in. Um, <laughs> I just heard, oh my God get them away from me like it's almost like too much it, I, i'm getting it's almost too much yep here we go here's the hermit that's exactly what i was just saying you're gonna need some time to think and be really discerning this is hilarious uh it's almost like leo manifested way too much and just went bonkers on the manifesting love and then it all comes in at once and you're like ah ah this is too much you know, um, or this could be career too, if it's not love, but I'm getting it is love, um, or both. I don't know, Leo, but like, it's going to be a little overwhelming for you. And I don't think you're used to this level of attention I'm getting. So you may want to be like, oh my God, like what the fuck, you know? And it's, it's tough. I mean, I was getting that before the Cod even came out with the hermit. So do take some time. Set some boundaries if you need. Yeah, seven of swords. You don't owe anybody anything. All right? So you take some time. Like, you know, you don't have, don't ghost anybody. Don't ghost people. Okay? But definitely with the seven of swords and the hermit, you don't have to tell them everything. If you just need some alone time, be like, dude, I'm tired. I'll call you later. Like, where were you two weeks ago? You weren't even a part of my life two weeks ago. Please give me a fucking hour. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. It's like you're beating them off with the stick. It's like, oh my God, I manifested love, but now I think I just want to be single. <laughs> be careful what you ask for, Leo. Oh my. Oh my. Queen of Coins, because you're a catch. 
you're stunning and you've got it going on, baby. And I, I really believe that this is uh, hilarious and funny uh, that Leo over manifested love. <laughs> you went a little too far. Seven of Pentacles, because you put that work in. You did. and But it's almost like, go slow and, and tell these people you're beating off with this. You don't have to beat them off with the stick. But what you want to do is you want to be like, look, I need some time to breathe. I'm really busy. I think you're very busy with career anyway. Nine of Cups. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what's happening. Your wish fulfillment is here. And it's like... And you're not sure what to do with it. You're like, wait a minute. This is what I wanted. Wait, it's act. Wait, what? Wow, these are coming out really good. Holy shit. Rejuvenation. These readings are delicious, the last two readings. I really hope they all turn out this way. This is a time for renewal for you. Your wishes fulfilled are happening. The chariot. Oh, my God. I mean, this reading started out rough. I mean, you, you're you very much trapped in your head. Leo, get out of your head and into your body. Listen to your intuition because your wishes are coming in. You're heading towards victory and rejuvenation. Holy shit. Wow. These were really good readings. Um, so whatever Leo, Leo's been a, boy, a, a good kid. <laughs> Leo's been well behaved. And the well-behaved Leos are getting rewarded. Good for you, Leo. Not giving in to the bullshit. But you're still kind of a Krabby Patty right now. So get out of the Krabby Patty status, okay? Because there's no reason. Ooh, friendship. People just want to be around you, Leo. And I'm getting it's really, really... Um, it's rough to... It's hard to tell who's who right now because it does seem like yeah and there's some friends you may you may need to say goodbye to there's some something or someone that you're holding back from and and that's okay it's okay to let go if if you feel like anybody's holding you back that is hard and I, that might be what you're trapped but the second you do you got double chariot double nine of cups you know it's like oh my god i'm getting flashing lights lights wow are you gonna be famous yeah you're gifted leo that's for sure just watch watch if you don't say goodbye to some people right now you are gonna get trapped watch the entrapment and and do talk to people you can trust right now about how you're feeling because there's a lot going on and i think you can anticipate this attention um, and while Leo, if there's any astrological sign that is equipped for attention, fame, whatever this is, um, it's you, but it can still be, you know, overwhelming. So watch that. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is some like star shit. So, and I don't even see the star here, but you're, you, you are manifesting your wishes. And I can't, I can't get over how good this reading was. I am so ecstatic about how good this was. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Leo, for watching. I pray that this resonated. So many cups. So many nine of cups. And, you know, just stop being crabby, okay? All right. I love you, Leo. You take care.